I've chosen Salute Red from Sherwin-Williams in a high gloss. You can do a semi-gloss as well. Just don't do eggshell. It won't clean as easily. A realtor friend of mine told me that one of the easiest things you can do to update your home and sell your home faster if you're trying to do that is just to update your front door. So the first step here is to take the hardware off and give it a good scrub. <laughs> What's the importance of cleaning? Uh, well, the paint doesn't stick to dirt. <laughs> How long have you wanted to paint this store? Since the day I bought the house. <laughs> Listen, don't get huffy, okay? This is not real wood. I understand the sacredness of wood. This is fiberglass and with a fake wood grain. And I don't like the color of it. And I don't want it to be this anymore. If you do have a wood door, then you would want to sand it first, then clean, and after that, it's time for a good primer. Round the world. So I've chosen Kills Premium High Stain Blocker Primer. This is water-based, which ideally I would have gone for an oil-based primer, but there are some cons to that. Oil-based smells worse, it takes longer to dry, and the cleanup is such a mess. This is gonna be easy cleanup and a much faster process. Pro tip here, if you're using water-based paint, damping your brush just a bit before painting. It makes cleanup easier at the end. The best way to paint the door is to brush the paint on the trim of the panels first. Then we're gonna use a roller to paint the middle and outer borders. So the best kind of roller I thought at least for this job would be a four inch wide quarter inch nap. That means it has enough texture to get into the little holes and grains of the fake wood grain here, but it's not so textured that it doesn't leave a nice smooth finish. Now the other trick here, pro tip, is before you start painting, you gotta take some packer tape, wrap it around, the nap and then peel it off. This is going to get all the little loose pieces of lint so they don't stick into your paint. You can also use a four inch wide foam roller. I tried both on this project and the foam worked just as well. Two coats of primer. Primer is dry, time for paint. Now tradition is people would paint their front door red when they paid off their mortgage. We're not there. <laughs> but it also means welcome, so that's what we're going for. Can you believe it took six coats of paint? Yikes! I think that's just a typical problem, though, when painting anything red. Same order, though. Panels first with a brush, then roll the rest. And here it is. <laughs>